Hello children, how are you? Must be doing fine at home, doing your lessons, helping your parents, reading books, watching movies and sometimes dreaming, right? You must be dreaming of when will the school reopen, when can you meet your friends, isn't it? See with the word dream, a quote came to my mind. You know what is that? You too must have heard it. It is the path from dreams to success does exist. Yes, you remember? You must have heard this. It was quoted by none other than Kalpana Chavla, an astronaut. Let us know something about her. We all know that she is no more with us, but yet she lives with us. How? Let me tell you about her. Kalpana Chavla was born on March 17th in 1962 in a small town Karnal in Haryana in our country India. And she had a tragic end in space on 1st February 2003. Let us see how this happened. She is a born Indian American astronaut, the first woman go into space from our country. A small girl, she had her education in a small school in Karnal and from the time she knew how to write, how to draw or how to read, her fascination was only towards the aeroplanes, the night sky and she always thought of aeroplanes flying high in the sky. Well, she went on with her uh, desire and then told her desire to her parents. But to some extent, you know, they were not ready to accept her wishes. But still, against her parents' wish, she took to aeronautic engineering in Chandigarh. She completed her aeronautic engineering against her father's wish and then she did not stop over it. She went ahead. She went abroad and she did her engineering in astrospace in Texas, then from PhD from California University. This went on. She married an US based citizen and she became a very famous astronaut later on. Let us see how. As I told you, she was very much fascinated by the planes, the night sky, the space, everything. She excelled herself in the field of astronomy. Then she took training in various science of space. Kalpana Chavla could fly single engine flight or double engine flight and she trained herself and she also became a flight instructor. Then as a dream, her dream continued, you know, and she was selected for the space mission from NASA at the age of 26. And she took her first mission space travel in 1997. And it was a mission for 15 days along with another six astronauts. And it was unbelievable for her to be in space. And India, back in her home, people were very proud she became an inspiration for the girls in the village, in the town and across the country. Well, she had a successful flight in Colombia. Then after five years, again she got an opportunity to travel to space in the space shuttle Columbia. And you know the space shuttle Columbia was designed to have at least 100 flights. And the second flight in which Kalpana traveled along with six other astronauts was the 28th flights of Columbia. Well, it took off from the base station, Florida. Everybody were very happy, but a small incident that happened at the start turned into a great tragedy. It so happened when the space shuttle took off, a small heat shield of it broke and fell down. 
Well, as you all know, once a space shuttle takes off, nothing can be done. People inside the space shuttle nor outside. Nobody can do anything. Well, it took off, it went into the space, it remained there 15 long days and the astronauts completed around 80 experiments. It was a successful one. People below in the NASA station, they were all observing the movings, the movements, the experiments of the space shuttle. After a 15 days of experiment in the space, the day to return back to land was on 1st February 2003. They started back and just few kilometers above the Earth's surface when the entire world were waiting for the Columbia to land safely on the air base. All of a sudden, there was a huge burst in the sky and that was the end of Columbia. Remember children, when the space shuttle took off, a small piece of heat shield fell off. It was not taken seriously at that time, nor anybody thought that it would lead to such a big disaster. When uh, the shuttle was coming down, the atmospheric temperature, the heat, happened to enter the space shuttle. And it increased the heat inside the shuttle and it turned into a ball of fire in the space just when thousands of people were looking up high in the sky. That was how Kalpana Chawla's end came in the space. She was a girl with a lot of dreams and she shattered in the space. Even today we think of her. She is not with us, she is not alive, but she still stays with her. Number of colleges, number of universities are named after her. And she is a great inspiration for the girls who think that education is not much important for girls. Girls are meant for only kitchen. No, it's not like that. We can all take the example from Kalpana Chawla and reach great heights and bring name and fame for our country and for our family and for all and be an inspiration to everyone around us. Thank you.